And so the referendum happened, then we had all the shenanigans in Parliament with the indicative votes and the, the, the tortured May years. You really got into the swing of things. You started helping to run Leave Means Leave. You became a Brexit mm. Party MEP. You know, you started out as a lad from, from Bolton, pretty straight talking, but obviously very, very canny. Did you surprise yourself, John, at the lengths you went to to make your point? Well, I, I surprised myself in terms of the lengths I had to go to to make the point. OK. I mean, the opposition was so uh, venal. Uh, and, you know, I'd become chairman of the of Vote Leave Business Council, so I was sitting on the campaign committee with Boris and Gove and all these people, yeah. which was quite an experience in itself. Maybe I'll write the book one day. Uh, and uh, I was coordinating a national network of what had been Business for Britain previously, mm. Uh, chairman of, uh, of regional councils of business people who were campaigning at grassroots level, which, of course, the Remain campaign hadn't got and had no idea really what impact that had because people believe people if they're local. Mm. Uh, and then went on, as you say, to be co-chair of Leave Means Leave, which was a surprise to me because I thought after the referendum it was all done and dusted, that it would be over with and that we'd leave. But, of course, the establishment doubled down to try and prevent that happening so we had the Mayor Hammond coalition uh, who were actually trying to make sure that the UK was as close to the EU as possible and to actually lock us in so we could never really leave.